So just to sort of set the stage, my lights had done this even with the stock settings back in July of 2018. That's when I made this video. Um, and then the other day after I did the new wiring and stuff, uh, it was doing the same thing. Now these light bulbs are not LED, but they're that step up, but it was still doing that. All right, so I ordered another one of these 363581-F. Um, the last time it wasn't working for me, it could have been due to a, uh, a bad ground. I'm not 100% not sure on that, um, but um, this is what we're looking at here. This is the old one, but I had to uh, do some modification. I got frustrated the last time, so I finally, after I couldn't ever get it to work, I just cut off uh, the ends right here and uh, use that to rewire uh, my front uh, right lights. Uh, one of the pieces had broken after I got tinkering and trying to figure out how to make it work, so I cut that off. But um, the way that this will work with all these gobs of cords, these two will hook into the battery, allegedly. It will go in to these relays which should make things hopefully better. This, this will plug in to um, the dim light closest to the battery. And then this side runs, 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 runs. And then it will fuel my driver side lights. So there's grounds for each one of these. And uh, there's only one male plug-in, if you will, and that should fuel the whole system along with everything coming back this way. This should come from the battery, run into this, which will power everything going back through here and still work with the switch. Allegedly, that should work. So we're gonna see. Uh, so I need to unhook the battery hook all this stuff up and uh, we will just sort of go from there. I might uh, try to video some of that. I don't know how well my lighting is. It's raining again outside. So stand by, let me get the hood lifted, get the new parts up and running and uh, I'll have to unhook everything I've done. But the problem I'm, I'm having and the reason I'm doing this is because my headlights only when it's on bright, it starts strobing in unison. Everything's in unison. It's strobing, 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 strobing. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the battery. That'll be the first thing I do. Okay, the battery is completely completely disconnected. Now, what I'm gonna do on my wiring right here is I'm gonna connect right into here. This should be hot all the time and it'll allow me to not have to really stretch those wires to run from way out here all the way down and through. So I'm just gonna wire straight into here. So this is the, the new wiring harness. And it'll be just like what I showed you earlier, but. I've got to take it all apart and stretch it out and make sure I know where all I'm going. This side right here, it's going to go all the way over to the driver's side. I can just leave it hanging for now. And right here is where I'm going to put my relays in. So I'm going to go ahead and get those out of the box and put them in. I'm going to attach these wires to that lead like I was talking about. I'm not going to snug these completely down yet. Till I know exactly what I got. So I'm hooked up into my relays and now I'm gonna have to reach back there and find uh, my dim uh, set, set up. And then from that, I'll plug it into the original dims and then just run these wires to the backs of all of the stuff and then uh, ground it, gotta ground it. So remember, 
You need to put on your bulb grease and stuff. I put it on all these connections. Just a little bit at the top. Grease it up. Scan. You don't gotta grease them so hard, jarhead. And this is the new wiring harness. And I'll need to go into this old uh, original dim socket and put that in. And now this, now, whenever I have this hooked up, this should supply power to all four headlights. And then I'll just need to go in and um, hook up the, the lights. Okay, I haven't fully hooked everything back up. Um, I've hooked it up the way it'll need to run, but I haven't exactly, actually, you can see, tightened everything down and whatnot. So, uh, here goes nothing. I haven't tried this yet. And it would probably help if I connected the battery back before I did this. That's all my lights on. That should be on brights. I'm gonna go to dims, make sure it works on dims. All right, yeah, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's working as it should. Now this light's gonna throw you off a little bit right here, but it should be up here. All right, I'm gonna turn it on brights and see if I start to get the flicker. Okay, so we're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait and see if we get flicker. A few moments later. I don't think it's gonna flicker. I could be wrong, but I don't think it's gonna flicker. I know y'all aren't as excited as I am, but I am excited. Yeah! I feel good. Papa's got a brand new bag. It's a man's world. All right, so now I'm gonna get all this toddy back up and uh, put back together, and I should have working headlights now. These are not LED, but they're like a step up. There's the new headlights. Yes, sir. There they are in all their glory. So let's go up and down the road. Okay, so as you can tell, uh, or at least I hope you can tell, that these are a lot better headlights. Now there may still be, you know, some adjusting that needs to happen as far as up, down, left, and right. But for the most part, um, I really like these headlights so far. But uh, I don't plan on doing a whole lot of night, not, not time driving, but if I need it, I want to have it. So uh, there's brights and then dims. All right, thank y'all for watching.